Hi, Glenn. Really good session of the day. Hope you found it helpful. Just a couple of points we're going to run through now in terms of the swing. When you see the golf ball as it was shooting lower on the ground and sort of topping the golf ball, the initial response to that is you've got to try and get underneath the ball or get it up in the air by leaning back and lifting. Now, if we watch this swing on the left-hand side, we can see it, even before the club's gone back barely above your height to your hips, you've already moved your body now over to that right side. And as a result of the wrist hinge that you were creating, you weren't getting the club working up correctly. If we look at the position now, if we zoomed in, you can see the back of your left wrist now is pointing towards where the mirror was, and that club face again pointing back towards the mirror, meaning now that club's going a little bit low and a little bit flat behind you. So if the club does get in that position, it makes it impossible now for you to get the golf ball up in the air consistently. So therefore, what you'll try to do now is sort of drop your knees down, as you can see, and you can see your head dropping down even further now towards that right side, trying to lift the ball up in the air. And if we look at sort of the blur of the club as it comes in the hitting area now, we can see it now sort of bottoming out a little bit early, meaning you're going to catch the top of the golf ball. And as the name says, top the ball along the ground. So the sensation, once you got set up, your setup was getting much better, taking your time a little bit more now, is to hinge these wrists up. And you can see now as that club goes back, your head's staying over the ball a lot more. You hinge the wrist up, creating this L position that we talked about, getting the club in a much better position from where we can return it back to the golf ball, striking the ball much cleaner, and then through up onto that left side. As I said, in time, what we'd see now is a little bit more movement off that right foot, a bit more twist with that right hip. Like I said, at the moment, if we can just focus completely on that hinging of the wrist, get that club working up as we turn the body, I'm sure you'll find your strokes will be a whole lot better, hitting the ball a lot further and a lot straighter. Once you've got that becoming a little bit more sort of second nature, we can then work on some other things as the swing progresses. So, hope that all makes sense. Any questions, Glenn, obviously give me a shout and I'll catch up with you soon.